this is a very weird blog for me to make. Because on one hand, I was very excited to make this blog, and then I actually got to making it. And I'm not as excited. I feel very, like, indifferent. So basically, as you can see, I'm credited in a Jello Apocalypse video, and this is the uh, Let's Make Animal Crossing game video, where he basically, he goes and he's like, hey, this is what I would do if I made an Animal Crossing game. So he posted, uh, he posted an advertisement for this video on his Twitter, and he was like, hey, uh, I'm looking for people to help out with this. And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to volunteer. And I was like, hey, do you want wild world footage at all? Because I can't do New Leaf because I only have a DS capture and I don't have a working 3DS capture. I technically have a 2DS capture card. Does not work. Uh, the board, I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. I remember I kept sending it back to the people who made it. They kept saying they fixed it. It never, never worked. And this is why I don't like... Uh, I don't even think Katsu Kitty is like... I don't think their business is even, like, a thing anymore. But they have really bad capture boards. I never got mine to work. I still can't get mine to work. It works as a 2DS just fine, but I can't, like, use it for anything else. Anyways, I still was like, hey, I can only do wild world footage. Is that okay? He's like, sure, yeah, man, I'll, I'll, I'll accept wild world footage. So, here's all my wild world footage and never got used in this video. <laughs> God, it feels weird. I recorded about, like hour of this i played the game for about eight nine hours because i had to start over because um my cart is a very old cart of wild world it was probably it's probably been used since wild world came out i didn't originally have it it was like a cart just given to me and i was like oh cool i'll take this so i had problems getting it to work at first then it was like, oh, hey, by the way, your save file is just deleted. I'm like, oh, okay. I wasn't that far anyways, but it's just really awkward, so I had to start all over again. And none of my hour of footage was used, which feels really, really weird. Like, I was expecting, like, maybe some of it, but there is Wild World uh, footage in this video. It's not mine, because I play as a male character, and there is another one... There's another person here that went by uh, Sophie. I probably think it's this person right there, the Sophie Butterworth. Uh, their footage was used, not mine. I don't know if this was like, oh, I they got their footage there first. or Because I, honestly, all I got was like an email saying, hey, if you're still interested, I'll reply to this email. And I replied as soon as I got out of work. And I was like, hey, I am still interested. Let's do this. And I was told it was okay, even though I... Once again, reiterated, hey, I can only do Wild World. And he said, yeah, sure, just give me what you got. And I did. So I'm a little disappointed that I know my footage was used, but I'm not, like, angry or anything because I was, comp I was compensated for my time. Like, I actually was paid. Like, nothing in this video is mine, but I was still paid to help make it, I guess. Like, and I'm still credited as well. Like, I'm really surprised. I didn't know how he was gonna credit any of the people in this video. I, I even, like, sent, like, an icon. Like, I was like, hey, if you credit me, or if you say my name, this is how you say it. I was just credited as a uh, Gavin um, with this ellipsis star because I don't want to be known as at that wolf wizard. That's just my Twitter username. Like, I don't want to be known as that. This this is, this is works. This works. I appreciate that. Um, but I was also like, I don't know how people credit people in YouTube videos. Because some people are like, oh, I'm going to put your icon on screen. Or, oh, I'm going to like say special thanks to this person and not like put anything on screen. So I'm just like, I don't know. So I just gave them directions and I hope it didn't sound like... I think the last thing I'm really afraid of is like I sound like I'm really bossy about how I'm credited. But at the same time, it's just like, I'm just saying all these things to cover my bases because I don't know what this credit screen was going to look like. Like, I'm not working on the video. I just give him raw files and that's it. Which is none of these are used. Which kind of makes me a little sad because I can't, I can't even go any part of the video and be like, hey, that was me. That was me on there. But no, I can't do that. And that was like half the reason why I wanted to do it. Like I didn't do this for the money because I didn't even think this would pay well. Not saying I expected like to be like not paid at all or anything like that. I just didn't know how much I would get paid for this, if at all. So I just mainly did it because I thought it would be cool to be like, hey, I helped make a video like this. 
but I, I didn't help anything in the long run. I'm still credited, but there's nothing in here that's mine. Maybe I might rewatch it, and maybe I'll find, like, one clip. Maybe maybe just one. But um, it just kind of sucks that um, nothing I recorded was got in here, but oh well. So since none of my footage was shown, I'm going to actually put up my file right here. I didn't want to talk about it while having this game in the background. So, first off, I had to start a new town to actually get this. I think I mentioned that before, but just in case, because I do, I did like several picks. So just in case, my save file was just deleted, game crashed, it was like, your save file is deleted, and then, uh, yeah, I had to reboot it. So, uh, you're probably wondering why the fuck there's a road in the middle of my house. Or, why is my house in the middle of the road? So, there was a gag I did, and this gag took me fucking forever, and I was hoping- I was hoping this would somehow be in the video, just like a little bit. I wasn't like, expecting too much, but I did do some b-roll footage where I'm just walking around. But there was a gag that Jello mentioned, where he's like, hey, um, in his notes, where he's like, hey, if you can make it so the village, a villager has like a house and an inconvenient space. And I thought he was talking about the villager, like as you play as the villager, not like the animals. Because I figured he would say the animals or something. Or maybe he meant both. I don't know. But basically he was like, you should make it look like you're in a weird, like an unfavorable place to live. And one of the examples he put was in the middle of the road. And that's what I did. It took me a good, like, I want to say like hour and a half to make. I'm really upset that this didn't make it in the, in the video at all. Because I thought this was a funny gag. And I actually spent time on this funny gag. Like, a lot of time. And my footage, um, there was actually trees around here. Because I wasn't able to cut down all the trees. Because the axe didn't fucking begin to be sold until right after I submitted my footage. And I was so angry about that. Like, I actually, like, time traveled a lot, hoping, hey, the axe will be here soon, right? <laughs> and then, no. God, God damn, it was terrible. But yeah, I even soft reset it. I even went out of my way to get a wolf villager, just so if my thing was sewn, I could just be furry trash. I think one of my designs was, like, a joke design, where it was like, ooh, what is this? Which I was like, should I submit it that? And half of me was like, no. The other half of me was like, I don't care. I was also thinking about replacing it with an F of that erase design. Because then it's like, oh, I'm catering to Jello, and I also like F of that erase. But it was at the point where I'm like, I don't know when I should submit this footage, and I need to submit it sooner than later. Because I was not getting I was not given a deadline. I don't know about the other people who are giving him footage, but I was not getting a deadline. I asked for one. I was like, hey, I know you need the footage soon. Uh, could you elaborate, like, when or, like, when? I'm... And I didn't get a response. I didn't get a response when I sent the footage in, so it wasn't like... I don't think he didn't... You know, I don't think he mean, meant to not communicate it. I was just, like, I was very unclear of when I would be... I would need to give him the footage, so... Oh, well. So I sent the footage like let me see, I can always pull up my emails and check. Alrighty. So I sent I got a response back on the February twenty-sixth. And that was really exciting still. I, I still think I still appreciate this opportunity. Like don't get me wrong, like I I am a little sad that my footage is not used, but like keep in mind this is still cool that I'm credited in the video at all. Because I just didn't, I honestly didn't know what the hell was going going to happen. So, I got the response on the 16th, the 26th of February. I'm like, hey, um, email if you are still interested. And then I responded immediately after. Wow, it was the 26th? Damn. For some reason, my phone didn't alert me about it until the 27th. I remember that. Because I got, I got that alert while I was at work. I don't know why I did not get that alert. I have a new phone now, so maybe that might be why. I noticed when I swapped over to Android, I don't get my alerts ASAP like I do on iPhone. And that actually bugs me a little bit because sometimes I'll just open my phone and then I'll get all my Twitter alerts all at once. And I'm like, hello, um, why didn't you give me these as they come not all at once? It's really weird. It might be a setting. I don't know. 
either way, sometimes the new phone just doesn't alert me immediately. It might be a signal thing, it might, it might be a lot of things. But basically, on the 27th, I was like, alrighty, I'll give you a response. And then, I let him know everything else. I didn't even read that letter. I'm like, reading, not reading my emails, but giving you dates, I guess. And then on the second, I was like, here's all the wild world footage, and then we discussed payment. And then I got paid four days later, which was really fast. I honestly was very surprised. Like, I don't because I've never done, like, I've never captured footage for money before. Like, to keep, to give you an idea, I've only captured video game footage for friends. And I only did it in, actually... Who did it? Because I did it one for my friend Miles. I don't know what the hell he goes by anymore, but I'll, I'll put like a clip of the footage I did use. It was in his old God Hand video, which is actually a really good video. I don't think he likes it, but I genuinely think that's a really good video. And I captured some Okami footage for him, and I'm credited as Gavin, that Zorowork wizard. Or I think it's, no, it's not that Zorowork wizard, it's just Gavin Zorowork wizard, because that was one of my old apps at the time, which I... For people wondering why I changed it, it's just because, like, I don't hate Pokemon, but I don't want to be associated with just one Pokemon in my at or username. It just feels weird, and if I ever, if I ever wanted to be professional or anything, I'd rather it be, like, a unique thing, and not, oh, I stole this name from Pokemon. So that's the reason why I changed that. But then again, I went through a ton of usernames. I don't even know if I'll keep this one. Because my current one is like, at that wolf wizard on Twitter. But I'm pretty much universally just Gavin with the tiddly and star. And just kind of kept that. And even when I was signing my emails, I signed it as that. I don't know, it has like a nice ring to it. Where it's like, hey, this is my name. Also, this is a little thing to let you know that this is me. And not some fuck other fucker named Gavin. I don't know. I thought it was unique enough, that stood out enough, I was like, good enough for me. <laughs> so people call me Gavin, and not, like, try to pronounce my username or try to be weird about it. So it's like a, it's a good middle ground for me for now. But anyways, like, I've never captured video game footage for money. I've only done it for my friend Miles, and I want to say I did it for one other person. Who? It eludes me. I want to, I do want to say I did it twice, or maybe I just did it for Miles twice. But either way, both of those were for free, and I wasn't playing the game, I wasn't playing the game all over again, it was just, hey, uh, I need a copy footage of a New Game Plus file, could you do it? And I'm like, cool, I can do it, it will only take me, like, less than a few minutes, because he didn't, like, want too much. I also, like, at the beginning of that video, there's, like, a bunch of, like, reviews of, like, why, um, God Hand is terrible, and I read out one of the reviews in, like, a really, like... <laughs> Nasally voice, like I'm some like angry nerd. I thought that was really funny. I also remember I got someone I used to be friends with. It was like one of the, it was like a Pokemon remixer. I got him to fucking voice in that video. I was like, hey, you want to voice in my friend's fucking guy him video? And he's like, fuck it, sure. We don't talk anymore, but he's still a, a cool guy. I don't know what the hell he does anymore. I know I introduced him to Undertale, and he did like the first Undertale remix on YouTube, and I'm just like, I created this monster. This was this was a monster of my creation. God, I get sidetracked. I get sidetracked a lot when I talk, so I apologize if I ramble. So yeah, my point being, I never fucking knew what I was getting myself into, but so I kind of gave like a general guideline like a general price line and then i got paid for it and it was pretty broad because i i didn't expect <laughs> i didn't know what i expected i was just like i'm gonna do this because it seems fun and that's it and yeah it was fun and i got stuff out of it so that's cool honestly like i wouldn't mind like doing something like this again where i'm capturing footage for somebody i don't think that would ever happen again though because like those circumstances seem very niche i mean i have this ds capture card so that is a plus in my direction or at least that makes it favorable for me to some degree because not a lot of people can get ds footage it's very hard um, even like 
off of an emulator it is hard because the thing is like a lot of ds emulators require a shit ton of like good pc specs i don't know why because you would think it's just the ds both of those screens are like 240p and the game's barely run why you need a good computer to run that shit i don't know and i'm not just like saying this because i've never tried it i've tried it multiple times i think this computer i currently have is the only one that i can consistently play uh, ds games at a decent frame rate it's just so weird like i don't know why you need like a good computer build to play like or to emulate ds games so yeah, I have that to my advantage, so... But I don't know, there's something kind of fun, like, it's kind of like a little to-do list, it's like... I don't know, I guess I could compare it to, like, you know when you go and play a game and you want to get, like, the trophies or the achievements, and they're like, do this task, and you gotta do it. It's like that, except you gotta record yourself doing it, and it was pretty fun. I don't know, I enjoyed the hell out of it. So, it was, like, just a little fun little thing, because even if I didn't get paid, I think I still would have just... I still enjoyed the hell of that, because I think Final World's still a fun game. And I, I'm also just, I was also in a big Animal Crossing mood, because uh, New Horizons is about to come out. And I was like, god, I just want New Horizons now. I don't want to play Wild World. Wild World's too wild. It's not wild enough, actually. It's it's just, it's just a world. The world's a circle. And now here's the boundary break, boundary break video of why Animal Crossing fucking Wild World's world is a circle. No. That's a good video, though. You should definitely check that out. But yeah, um, as that was my experience with that, I, I, I was also thinking, and this is just a fucking stretch, and I don't, I don't expect anything to come out of this, but I'm going to link, I, not link, I'm going to put my email in the description. If you want to contact me for capturing DS footage, or just game footage in general, and you want to contact me, and you want to come at me with a fucking price, maybe, maybe I'll help you. I don't know. I'm not expecting much out of it. Because it's like, trying to find somebody to capture a video game for you is a very nice market. And I'm not expecting this to happen again. Unless Jello needs like, something for another let's make a game thing. And it just happens to be a DS game that I can record. And I'm able to get to him fast enough. Then sure. But like, I can't think of anybody else who is just going to be like, Yo, man, you want to record a fucking video game for me for money? And I'm just like, <laughs> I wish. Because it was a lot of fun. I, I don't know, I'm doing it again, like I said. Um, let's put this... I don't know why I'm placing this here. Because I'm going to be real. After, after I stop playing this for this little section of the video, I'm probably never going to play Wild World any ever again. I already have problems booting this cartridge up, and there's just... Like, Wild World, Wild World doesn't interest me. It interested me back when the game was new, and I was like, whoa, I've never seen a game like this before, and I never played the original Animal Crossing. This was, like, my first one. So I was like, at the time, it was very much, holy shit, this game is so fucking weird. But, like, in a cool way where I just never experienced it before. But now it's just kind of like, whatever. And if I really wanted to play this game, I'd either play New Leaf or New Horizons. So yeah, uh, I think I covered all my bases. So yeah, if you, if you need video game footage for DS or, or really anything, I think the only things I can't do are like stuff that's too old. Cause I have, um, I have a Wii. I have a Wii U, I have a Switch, PS3, PS4, PS2, and I think that's it. I also have a PC, but I mean, it's like a newer PC game. I don't know how well I can be able to record that because I the fuck with my settings. I also have the DS stuff, obviously, too. So yeah, I will probably never record footage for somebody again for money, but God... I'd, I'd fucking love to do that. Hell yeah. I would love to play a video game for fucking money. I have to tell my parents that. Actually, I'm not going to tell my parents that. That'd be weird. Actually, maybe I will tell my parents, just out of spite. Like, hey, I played this fucking video game and I got paid to play it. <laughs> it sounds like it's like a fucking douchebag if I say it like that. I don't know. Anyways, all jokes aside, um, that's really all I'm going to do with this blog. I just wanted to talk about that. 
from my experience with it. So it was cool. My footage wasn't used, but it's not the end of the world. And if something like that ever happens again, I'm definitely applying. Because it, even if the pay is not good, it is at least a hell of a time. And it's just interesting. So yeah, um, that's all I want to say. See you guys later.